Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to Gingham and Glue, guys. Um, I'm Thea. Um, this is my channel, and it has been quite some time <laughs> since I've been on here. Um, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on with me, and then um, I'm going to do a flip through of this beauty right here. Um, yes, I am still junk journaling for all of those who have stuck with me this far. Um, it has been a number of months since I've posted anything. Um, I've just had a lot going on. Um, but so I will, um, set this to the side here for just a minute. Um, and I apologize for the state of my fingers. I My hands are so dry that my fingertips are cracking and it doesn't matter what hefty duty lotion I put on them, they still continue to crack. So anyway, um, oh gosh. So um, I am now working full time. I bit the bullet and just decided I was going to regardless of my chronic pain, I was just going to do it because I could, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I needed to work. We needed me to work. Um, I went into it with, you know, my eyes wide open, knowing full well that, you know, if it didn't work, then it didn't work. Um, but I wanted to go in knowing that I at least tried again. <laughs> um, I've tried going back to work, uh, oh, several times now over the last four years or so. And I lasted, I think the longest I lasted was about two weeks, um, which was, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking in a lot of ways because there's nothing you can do about it. You, you know, I had to just admit defeat and call it a day. And so, but anyway, um, I've been receiving injections in my back, which has been helping. Um, but I'm also experiencing some new issues. Of course, I of course I do. Um, or of course I have them because, you know, I, I swear to you, anytime we get one thing fixed, something else comes up, you know. So I've been dealing with a lot of um, just horrific muscle pain behind my shoulder blades. And they haven't really been able to figure out why or what it's for. Um, my regular family doctor has been on maternity leave, um, but I actually get to see her next week and boy, is she going to get an earful. <laughs> um, my pain doctor has pretty much gone as far as she wants to go. Um, I won't say that I'm without a pain doctor because she's still willing to see me, but there's only so much that she can do. Um, so I just, and through all of that, um, I went back to work, um, working for an insurance, local insurance company. I swore up and down that I was never going to go back to insurance. I have I took and passed my health and life insurance exam, oh, probably about, gosh, five, six years ago, I think, going on now. Um and even though I absolutely loved my coworkers, I realized fairly soon on that it I just was not, I wasn't happy with it. And this job is just a little bit different. Um, I'm actually doing property and casualty, so home insurance, car insurance. Um, and it's a much, much different environment than the life and health. So I studied for several months. Um, took my exam, failed the first time, which I kind of expected. I hate to sound like I jinxed myself, but I have horrendous test anxiety um, and ADHD. So my recall is horrible on top of the test anxiety. So I just buckled down. I studied some more. And a couple weeks later, I passed my exam. And that was the day before Thanksgiving. So yay. <laughs> so I'm now a licensed property and casualty insurance agent um, with this local business. And it's just been, I absolutely love my bosses. I love my coworkers. I love the job. It's just, it's rewarding. 
it can be stressful at times, but at the same time, it challenges me. And I feel emotionally feel so much better, so much better um, because I'm actually contributing. <laughs> so um, this, let's see, when did, oh, I want to say July or August and I'm probably wrong. No, it would have been July. Um, my husband and one of his employees slash coworker slash very, very dear friend of ours, both he and her uh, contracted COVID. Um, I was very scared for my husband. Um, he, there were times I really thought I was going to have to take him to the emergency room. Um, but our friend was much, much worse. And she actually passed from COVID uh, two weeks after contracting it. Um, and it was just an absolute shock to everybody. We were, uh, you know, and she's got two young adult daughters. Um, you know, everything that they've been through has just been horrible. And um, yeah, it was just a really, really awful, awful experience. So yeah, um, needless to say, we are both vaccinated and my, I got vaccinated just in time because I had had my second shot probably about two or two to three weeks prior to them contracting COVID. Um, I know, and, and I'm not trying to be dramatic when I say this, but I know for a fact that if I had contracted it, I would not have survived it um, just because of my health issues. So um, God was really looking out for me and yeah, so we had to deal with that. Um, I've gone back to work. Like I said, um, were, my son was just home for Thanksgiving, my youngest son. Um, he'll be at school for a couple more weeks and then we got to go back up and pick him up and bring him back home again for a little while. So I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> I don't think he is, but I am. Um, and so in, in between everything that's been going on this year, um, I have been trying to get in here as much as I can when I feel up to it to do some junk journaling. And I, I it's just, it has saved me. It has saved my sanity. Um, and you know, what's funny is that I just watched the um, junk journaling podcast um, that was with uh, Louisa Heinzel and Barbara from Vienna and uh, I want to say Carol Tinson. I, I'm probably totally wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, and one of the questions that they were answering from viewers was, has this craft, how has this craft helped you Um mentally, I, I believe was the, you know, what kind of, does it, does it, um, is it a type of therapy for you? And I have to say, hands down, junk journaling has saved my life, um, in more ways than one. And it gives me a creative outlet to do whatever it is I want to do with no rules to be able to come in here, sit down and work on a project, usually from start to finish, um, it's just, there are no words to describe how healing junk journaling has been for me personally. And, um, you know, my, my, my mind and my body have been through, oh gosh, a lot, unfortunately, the last five years or so, especially. And sometimes it just, you just need that creative space you know, where you, you're, you don't answer to anyone. There are no rules. You know, everything is very colorful and fun and, you know, so, but yeah, I just had to throw that in there because I thought it was, it was a very perfect question, um, to be asked and to be answered. Um, and the ladies, um, just answered it beautifully and, um, honestly, it was just wonderful. So I wanted to thank them for that because that was, that was just like, oh, that's me. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So that's kind of a little bit of the catch up. I'm going to slide this back into view here. 
Um, this is my very first, believe it or not, altered book, junk journal. Um, I realized a few things. I went by Gail's method, how she does hers. Um, I did not take, I, I, I should have taken more pages out. Let me put it that way. <laughs> I, that's something that I've learned, um, along this journey of making this and, but I've loved every minute of it. I, it's just, it's been really fun. Um, so yes, it is a, an altered book. Um, I put, um, Tim Holtz metal, um, corners on each. There's a little yo-yo there. Of course, lots of trim and, and there. And then if you flip it around to the other side, there's this beautiful, um, I believe it was a table runner, just a small table runner. So I took that and, and glued that on, which I thought turned out really neat. I really love it. So you will see throughout, I have not filled all of the pockets and things in here for good reason, <laughs> because like I said, I should have taken out more pages. Um, so it's a little thick, but still very usable. And this will be going up in my Etsy shop. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm very congested today, so you might, you're going to hear me clear my throat, probably sniff a lot, so I'm so sorry. So we open it up, and we've got a pocket on the inside with a tag, um, and then I, I put this little label on here, this Christmas journal belongs to, I thought that was a really cute, um, little touch there. So, um, I added random ruffles that I had sewn with a lot of a bunch of my fabric, just kind of randomly here and there. Um, we've got another pocket here. And these are, this is all done with multiple kits. So I will try to remember which ones they are and to post them below. If you see something and I haven't listed it, you know, just um, comment below and I'll be sure to add it. So. Then we turn the page. We've got this really fun belly band, a fun little journaling card there. All the journaling cards are backed either with old, uh, excuse me, um, old ledger paper um, or coffee stained paper. Uh, this is one of the pockets that I left empty, um, but we do have a side pocket here. And then we've got a large journaling card on the inside with that little bit of fabric ruffles sticking out there. We flip it. We've got another pocket here. Again, I left that one blank. Decorated this up just a little bit. I put a fabric flip on this page. I thought that, that would be really fun. Um, I've got a pocket here and I've also got a pocket here. I left this one open um, but did put a journaling card on the inside of this one. I've added some lace along the edges. And then we've got plenty of journaling space in here. And I, I was that's something that I definitely try to keep in my journals is plenty of journaling space. Um, another big pocket there. Left that one empty. Two smaller pockets. And put some journaling cards in there. We've got a corner pocket here. And we've got another pocket here, which I left empty, but I did put a fabric tab on this particular page. Um, we've got a pocket here as well as here. Again, both empty. We have a window, um, you know, junk mail envelope that I collaged, um, and you can create your own tag um, to go in there. Flip it through. We've got another little side pocket here with another journaling card. I just love these top loading and side loading pockets that you make with the book pages. They're so fun. Decoration a little bit there. We've got a pocket here. I put some ledger paper right there. That'd be fun for a list or something. And then put just a just a piece of, um, I believe this is Lorna's um, vintage Christmas wrapping paper. Um, and I just put a little tab on that. They can just pull that out, open up the paper and write on it if they want to. More journaling space and more lace. Another pocket here. Again, left this one empty. 
Some more journaling space. We've got a pocket here with a journaling card and we've got two fun side tuck. This, this was definitely an idea from Gail. I don't know if it's her original idea or not, um, but I had fun with these. These are really fun. You flip it over and I put one in here and one in here. And these, these are, um, you're going to see a few through here. You're going to see um, my porch prints. Um, Shabby Dabby Doodah, um, Vintage Studio 717. I've used some of her background paper. I had this, this is actually an ornament. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's totally perfect. So I just went ahead and slipped it in there. Some of these might be KB and Friends as well. I'll have to double check but it could also be calico collage. Anyway, so I've got a pocket here. I'll put a little journaling card in there and then I've got another pocket here. Pocket here. And I put a little coin envelope in this one. Belly band with a journaling card. I'm pretty sure like some of these, this is... Um, Mrs. Cog, yeah, I think these are Mrs. Cog's crafts, if I'm not sure, but this is um, Shabby Dabby Doodah. So, I mean, I no joke, I've probably used about five or six different kits in here. I went kind of crazy with Christmas stuff again this year. I had a ton left over from last year, but could I just leave it at that? No, I could not. So, of course, I had to buy some of the new stuff. I've got a top loading pocket here bring this down just a bit. Got this big journaling card on the inside with a little pocket and a journaling card. This one actually is not lined, this little journaling card, but that's okay. And then journaling on the back. And that goes right in there. I put a little stamp at the top for the tab. And some more lace. Lots of places to journal. Another pocket here. Got a, another um, junk mail envelope, window pocket. I put the little, the tag in there. Got a side pocket here. Another journaling card. Line that up there. Another pocket here and here. Pocket here. And pocket here. There's that other pocket. Did a tag there. There's a uh, top loading pocket. I did not put anything in there. So if you want to make your own, you definitely can. Put some lace on there. I did a side pocket here. And then did a journaling card. Just like that. Uh, side loader pocket. Again, did not make a tag for it. There's another pocket there. Lots of journaling space. This is, this I decorated. And that just opens up like that. Isn't that cute? Open this up and we've got two fun journaling mason jar cards. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. And we've got a little paper clip embellishment there. I do wish, and I'm debating, I might make a couple more of these um, paper clip embellishments because they're really cute. Um, yeah, I wish I had done more to begin with. So then we've got a side tuck here. This is my porch prints. Uh, top loader pocket here. Again, have not put anything in there. Flip it around and you've got another tuck here. We've got a pocket here, a little journaling card. Everybody's stuff just goes so well together. It's it's just awesome. More journaling space. Another pocket. There's a side pocket. This one I did fill. And I did this journaling card here, which I think turned out absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Used up a bunch of scraps that my aunt gave me. Um, boy, did she give me a bunch of stuff. Holy crap. 
I was, <laughs> pardon my French, I was just like, oh my gosh. I got, she gave me stamps and paper and just embossing stuff, all kinds of stuff. It was just, oh, it's wonderful. Another belly band, a little journaling card. And we flip it, we've got a corner pocket there with a tag. And then the back pocket. And you'll see that I carried over the piece of runner onto the corner. Am I getting any frame? Hopefully. Um, I thought that was kind of neat to just carry that over. So, and then added some lace. So yeah, that is it, you guys. That is my um, Christmas altered junk journal. Altered book junk journal, I guess is what you would call it. Um, super, super happy with how this turned out. I just, I think it's beautiful. Um, it gives, whoever purchases it, it gives you um, some creative leeway to, you know, do some of your own tags and journaling cards and things like that. So you don't like the ones I put in, you know, by all means, make your own. Go to town, have fun. So yeah. So that is pretty much it for me today. Um, I am going to be putting together here shortly, I need to work on because I started this last year and did not finish it. Um, I started a pink Christmas junk journal and I've got all of my signatures ready to go. I just need to get them sewn in and then we need to start decorating. And I cannot even begin to tell you how much stuff I have <laughs> to use to decorate. Oh my gosh, I've got fuzz on there. Um, so yeah, so I think in our next video or my next video, I am going to be working on this. You probably are not going to see me very often. Um, you're kind of used to that anyway, <laughs> I'm sure. But um, I, I'm very, very focused on my job right now. Junk journaling has become kind of secondary. Not that I would ever give this up. This will never go away. Um, and if anything, my job has inspired me to do more of junk journaling. Um, so yeah, it'll just be, it'll be interesting, interesting to see where I go and, um, what derives from, you know, the stuff that I do make now. So, you know, life has a way of influencing you, whether you want it to or not. And, um, I can definitely attest to that. So, all right, guys, well, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for popping in and checking in with me. Um, I hope I didn't bore you horribly with all of my, <laughs> all of my updating. Um, but I do hope you like my Christmas journal. And like I said, I'll be getting that up on to Etsy, um, probably this weekend. Um, I'm unfortunately I don't have a whole lot of time this week to sit and do pictures and get everything uploaded and stuff. Um, in fact, right now I'm getting ready to, um, get busy in my bedroom because. <laughs> We purchased ourselves a Christmas present and bought a new bed. So that is coming tomorrow and I've got to get my bedroom clean because it's awful. But anyway, all right, guys, thanks so much. Take care. Have an awesome day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.